I'm Henry Gilliland, the Mechatronic Specialist with Electric Supply and Equipment. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a virtual machine model to a PLC using Rockwell Automation's Emulate 3D. But before we get going, please be sure to subscribe to the ESNE TV YouTube channel for all your automation support needs. If you haven't already, please be sure to open up your copy of Emulate 3D Ultimate with the machine model you want to test with. In Emulate 3D, select the I.O. Browser Toolbar. You can see that we already have a model with pre-configured joints that are able to interact with numerical tags. This is where we will tie in our PLC tags. Select Add and then wait for the browser to populate all the currently communicating devices. Note that if the Factory Talk Lynx network browser can see the device, then so can Emulate 3D. Find the PLC you want to connect to and select it. In this case, we're using a PLC called Virtual Commissioning that is being run by Factory Talk Logics Echo. Then select OK. Once the PLC is added, you will be able to select from all the tags that exist on the PLC. In this case, we're going to tie together the x-axis with the gantry carriage and the z-axis with the z-beam. We can use the actual position tags for each. There are also two Boolean type tags that we will need to tie in. There's one for the gripper sensor and one for the gripper close. The gripper close tag is a tag coming from the PLC that will command the gripper to close when it is 1 and open when it is 0. This simulates the operation of a pneumatic device. The gripper sensor is a virtual proximity switch that will tell the PLC that a box has been picked up. For the position tags, Emulate 3D is expecting the values to be in terms of meters. The PLC is sending a tag in terms of millimeters. So we're going to have to do a quick conversion in the expression column to convert from millimeters back to meters for Emulate 3D. Now we can start the I.O. connection so that the data will begin to flow between the PLC and Emulate 3D. We can jog the gantry right and left and down and up. We can also run the PLC code. This allows us to detect problems with the code and add sensors or logic where necessary. You can see that after a while, the boxes start to pile up. This lets us know that we need to adjust our code to stop the process until the conveyor belt is cleared. If you liked this video, please click the like button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when we post new videos. Thanks for watching!